Hi friend, today I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of this stuff. Rocket or arugula? This is the first episode in my vegan superfood series, so I'm going to t be telling you all about rocket. What it is, a bit of its history, its health benefits and how you can be including it in your diet. You may already know this leafy green vegetable, but you probably don't know what a powerful health punch it packs. And to finish it off, I'm gonna show you a recipe using Rocket, one way that you might wanna use this fantastic leafy green in your kitchen. So let's dive right in. Now, before we get into it, I want to offer you something totally free that might help you use more Rocket in your kitchen. This is my guide to making healthy and delicious vegan meals fast. You're gonna get my top five time-saving hacks that will save you so much time in the kitchen and allow you to get more vegan superfoods like Rocket into your diet quickly and effortlessly. So if you want that, please click on the link in the description and it's all yours. All right, so what is rocket, or arugula you might know it as? It's a small leafy green vegetable. It's part of the brassica family, which makes it a cruciferous vegetable. We're gonna talk about what that means for your health in a moment. So in researching this video, I came across this book of Mediterranean vegetables that has some pretty interesting stuff on rocket. So rocket has a long history of cultivation, in Europe and around the Mediterranean. And rocket was cultivated as a food and a medicine. It was mentioned in the Bible as Oroth, and it was actually grown and cultivated by the Romans in Italy, who thought of rocket as an aphrodisiac. There are numerous historical sources that recommend eating rocket seeds to help men with their semen production, to help increase sexual desire, so this is quite a feisty vegetable. And this was pretty serious. Actually, the Roman Catholic Church was aware of the supposed erotic qualities of rocket, and they actually forbid its growth in monastic gardens in case the monks could not be trusted with rocket growing in the garden. Now, I'm not particularly green-fingered, but apparently rocket is quite easy to grow. Uh, so if that's something you wanted to try, it seems like a pretty hardy vegetable and you can grow it in either sort of springtime or late summer. So how do you know if you're getting good rocket in the gr grocery store? Well, you're going to want to get nice, fresh, firm, crisp leaves. Try and avoid things that are wilted or blemished or sort of yellowing that look like they're drooping. At home, you should store rocket in your refrigerator or if you're concerned you're not going to eat it in time you can freeze it. It will obviously wilt down if you freeze it uh, but that's fine you can still defrost it and use it in some of your cooking. So what does rocket taste like? Well compared to a lot of leafy greens it's unusually fiery. It's got a very peppery aromatic sort of flavour. Uh, it's quite punchy so you probably won't want to just have it on its own because it might be a little bit too much. However, I do think it's a really delicious green. It has much more taste than many other greens, which is great. But if you do find that the raw flavor of the leaves is a bit strong, you can cook it and that will just mellow out the flavor a little bit. All right, so what are the key health benefits of rocket? So as I've mentioned, rocket is part of the cruciferous vegetables family. Now this is really cool because cruciferous vegetables appear to have quite powerful anti-cancer properties. And cruciferous vegetables are thought to help protect your brain, your eyesight and reduce inflammation. And the causative agent is thought to be a particular compound that grows pretty much exclusively in cruciferous vegetables called sulforaphane. Now rocket specifically is high in one particular compound that's a sort of close cousin of sulforaphane called ericin. And one study did indeed show that ericin inhibits the growth of cancer cells in a petri dish. So these are some quite promising results, but remember that the whole food has an effect above and beyond individual nutrients. Other cruciferous vegetables include things like broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and pak choy, or bok choy you might call it. One particularly compelling piece of evidence is a 2017 meta-analysis that found that the people that ate more cruciferous vegetables suffered lower rates of heart disease, 
cancer and all-cause mortality. So these can be some pretty powerful veggies. So we really do want to be getting rocket and other cruciferous veg into our diet. But rocket goes further than that with its high nitrate content. Okay, so let's talk about nitric oxide. This is a gas that is released by the inner walls of your arteries. And this nitric oxide helps your arteries to dilate, to relax and increase blood flow. This is really important for allowing efficient blood flow through your body. This is going to lead to good oxygen transport to your muscles and your organs and it's also going to help lower our blood pressure. So it's really critical we get enough and one way to do that is to eat foods that are high in nitrates and then our body converts these nitrates into that important nitric oxide. Now of the top 10 food sources of nitrates, eight of them are leafy greens. And guess which one tops the list? Our friend Rocket. It has an astonishing 480 milligrams of nitrates per 100 grams of Rocket. And it seems that the high nitrate concentration in leafy greens like Rocket could well be responsible for the association between eating leafy greens and reduced heart disease risk, longer lifespan, and the so-called veggie viagra effect indeed there is a link between eating more leafy green veg like rocket and better sexual performance in men so it certainly seems like the romans were onto something and the roman catholic church was right to be concerned about what their monks were growing in the garden all right moving on to our final really cool health benefit of rocket it's just packed with nutrients, loads of vitamins and minerals and phytochemicals. So Rocket is really low in calories, but super high in nutrients, especially vitamins A, C, and K, and the minerals calcium, magnesium, and iron. And that combination of vitamin K and calcium might be particularly beneficial for our bone health. So Rocket comes pre-packaged with both, which is ideal. All right, so how are you going to use Rocket in your kitchen? I hope I've convinced you that this is something that we want to be eating plenty of. Well, it's often used in salads. That's a common usage for it. Um, but there are so many other ways that you can use it if you want. I find it's great to just throw Rocket in virtually any wet dish that you want. So soups, stews, curries, uh, even pasta sauces, anything like that will be great. You can also use Rocket to make a sort of intensely flavoured sauce, a bit like a pesto. So you could make a Rocket pesto using Rocket instead of basil if you wanted. In Italy, it's quite common to top pizza with some raw Rocket after it's been in the oven. So that might be a way you want to use it as well. Just sprinkle a little bit over the top of whatever you're eating. And I tend to find that eating Rocket with other things helps to kind of mellow out that really peppery fieriness of the leaves. But right now it's time for me to show you a cool recipe with Rocket. I'm going to make a lovely Rocket salad. It's going to have tempeh and chickpeas and some fresh apple in there. And then I'm also going to make one of my bulletproof sauces. So I did a video recently on my bulletproof sauce formula. There's a link up here. And that gives you an idea of all kinds of amazing sauces, salad dressings that you can use. So uh, go check that out if you want some sauce recipes. But I'm going to be using that to make a really cool kind of nutritional yeast and almond sauce that will be perfect as a dressing on our salad. So let me show you how to do it. So I have one block of tempeh here. If you don't know what tempeh is, it's a sort of fermented soy product. It's really, really tasty. It's got a lovely tangy little uh, taste to it. And then I have one can of chickpeas, which I've just drained and rinsed. So these are just going to go into my pan and I'm just going to saute them for 10 minutes or so. The only thing these are really going to need is perhaps just a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, and the rest of the flavor is going to be coming from everything else in our salad, in particular, our sauce. All right, so our chickpeas and tempeh have been cooking away for 10 minutes or so, and they're just slight, just nicely browned, as you can see. I'm gonna take them off the heat now uh, before they burn, and then they'll be ready to go into our salad just like that. All right, so it's time to get on with making our sauce. So first, 
I'm just going to start with the liquid at the bottom. So I'm going to be doing this in a bowl, but you could very easily do it in a blender or something like that. That would be fine. So around about half a cup of oat milk into our bowl. And then it's time to get all of our other bulletproof sauce elements in. So for our sweet element, I've got one finely chopped medjool date. So that can go in. For our fatty element, I've got some ground almonds here. So I'll put, again, I'm just gonna eyeball this. So perhaps a couple of big spoonfuls. For our acid, I've just got some rice vinegar here, but you could use apple cider or any other type that you have. Just a little splash of that. I'm not aiming for a super acidic sauce in this instance, so just a little bit will be fine. And then our salty element, I've just got some miso paste here, so I'll add a little bit of that in. We then want to go in with a few sort of seasonings. So, got some onion granules here. You could also use onion powder, so maybe half a teaspoon or so of that. Same with garlic granules, I've got some here. So half a teaspoon or so, perfect. And then we've got some nutritional yeast here. This stuff is just beautiful. <laughs> it tastes great. Really lovely sort of cheesy umami kind of flavor that will work great in this kind of creamy style sauce. So there we go, all of our ingredients are in. Let's give it a good mix. If your sauce is a little bit thin, like mine looks to be, I'm just gonna go in with a bit more almond and another little bit of nutritional yeast also. And that'll thicken it up. So I'm happy with that consistency. I think that looks about right. Let's just give it a little taste, make any adjustments we need to. Very good. I'm happy with that. Okay, we're now ready to mix up our salad. So in this bowl, I have a mixture of uh, lovely rocket leaves and also some spinach. So I'm not just gonna use rocket on its own. That's gonna be too much. I think it's gonna be too powerful, that flavor. But that's looking great. So here I've chopped up two apples, just raw apples. They are going to go in. And then we have our cooked tempeh and chickpeas. These can go in too. And this is the biggest bowl that I had, but it's still looking quite small. <laughs> and then all I'm gonna do now is just mix all of this together. And there we go, I've got some of our lovely salad in a bowl. And all I'm gonna do now, just to finish it off, is just scatter over a couple of hazelnuts. This is optional, but if you have a few nuts, I think that extra, extra little bit of crunch is just great. And then our salad dressing, just gonna drizzle some of this over. And there we have it, our beautiful salad with all of that awesome rocket in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this salad a little taste. Oh, that dressing is good. Apple is really, really fresh. Oh, I love tempo so much. It has such a mm, lovely flavor. I think this might actually be one of the best salads I've ever done. I wasn't even expecting it to be. Normally my salads are iffy, but this is a really good one. I hope that Rocket Salad has given you a little bit of inspiration and idea for how you might use Rocket yourself, but please experiment. There are so many different ways of getting it into your vegan meals. And as we've seen, I really think Rocket deserves its place on the vegan superfood list. And there you go. I really hope this has convinced you how cool Rocket can be, and I hope you take this away and start putting a little bit more of it in your weekly meals. Now, to help you with your weekly meals, uh, please feel free, link in the description to get my uh, guide on how to cook vegan meals really, really fast. Uh, it might help you out, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.